Welcome to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma, and today I'm joined by... I'm Hattie Shaw. I'm Sam Sheridan. Eric Aguilar. And today we're talking a little bit about minimum wage, so let's see what adults in Davis have to say about that. Okay, so our question this week is, are you for or against the concept of a minimum wage? Uh, it's complicated, so um, I do think that workers should have um, a living wage, um, but uh, I think the economics of it can get a little difficult, and so one thing that it's often not considered in this issue is the fact that we have sort of a hierarchical wage structure, and so if you raise the floor, then you have to raise everybody else. Um, to kind of keep that status hierarchy. And so I think that's where a lot of the inflation comes in is you have to not only raise the floor, but raise everybody else's. Um, so I do think that um, having a, a minimum is good because there is a lot of exploitation that can happen. And so ensuring that um, you know companies can't pay uh, you know $4 an hour when cost of living is astronomical. So, um, but I think it's just a complicated issue and, um, you know, I just think we need to talk about executive pay and, you know, bringing down the ceiling um, in addition to raising the floor um, to sort of get rid of the inequality that we currently experience. Okay, so our question this week is, are you for or against the concept of a minimum wage? For. Do you think um, the minimum wage at the state level, um, so just concerning California, should be raised? Uh, what is it currently? Or 11. I don't know. I support the concept of a minimum wage. Okay, and then do you think that in California the minimum wage should be raised um, above $11, or do you think it's fine where it is, or how do you feel about that? I, I think it should be raised. The cost of living in California is very expensive. I'd say I'm against it. Uh, why? Why? I don't know, I just, everybody puts in the work, everybody's in, like, no matter what job you're doing, like, wherever it's at, you are working hard to get something done, so I feel like it should be pretty even for everybody. I mean, the concept of minimum wage is a great idea, I think. And then, concerning the state level, so 725, do you think it's fine where it is, or should it be raised, or what are your feelings about that? The minimum wage should be able to support someone working 40 hours. So right now it's not supporting anyone, so it needs to be raised quite a bit. Um, and then even even in California, $11, is that, do you feel like that's enough? Or should, do we have work to do in the state, uh, at the state level? Uh, the California level is higher because the cost of living in California is higher. But they need to raise it more because the $11 an hour is still not going to be able to get you a house and you know rent food all your basic necessities yeah <laughs> um well that was a lot of interesting thoughts there uh, i would like to hear what you guys have to think about their opinions it it's a really tough issue and i don't know enough to have a very strong opinion but i mean of course in concept if we could just raise them in a wage and we'd all get paid more of course i'd be for it but I feel like there's a lot of other factors that would go in. And for example, I can totally see myself not being able to get a job as a kid in high school. Um, if, if all of a sudden everyone got paid $20 an hour, so my position would be uh, taken pretty quickly. And I would just would have no money rather than the, the little I earn. So I would kind of more safe bet to leave it how it is. But uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think it just has to fluctuate like, um, like as the, like, cost of living fluctuates because like um the one of the women said like if you raise the minimum wage because housing costs so much but like if you keep raising the minimum wage like inflation is just like going to probably worsen and then the cost of living will go up even more and so i think um it's it's a really hard like question to answer because how do you like keep Price is relatively the same while well, giving everyone a wage that they like the like the the ideal like living wage, which is something that I felt politicians say a lot, is like the living minimum wage. Um, but I think it's it's hard to like to, for me at least to differentiate like like because I, I I think minimum wage just went up, and so it's hard for me to differentiate from like just like oh I'm getting paid more now to like oh I also see prices of things. Um, I increasing 
uh, around me as the minimum wage in California was raised uh, on the first of the year? Yeah, pretty much um, what I've seen is when price, uh, you get paid more if stuff goes up. Like an example, milk used to be $3, now it's like $5 for a gallon, but just because we got a dollar more per hour, you know, it would never work out. It yeah. would be the same. Price go up, other stuff go up. Yeah, so every, everything's going to increase, but at the same time, I think that there, there kind of needs to be a minimum wage just to, to protect um, the, the workers' rights because um, people don't deserve to be like worked a ton of hours for, for a very small cost. So I think having that hourly minimum um, allows for there to like for there to be at least at least a base level. Um, but the thing is, is I feel like a lot of companies like just leave it at that, like whatever they can get it to be the lowest. That's what they're gonna keep it. When maybe um, if companies had a little more freedom, they would they would raise it on their own without making prices uh, increase and fluctuate so much. That's definitely an interesting point because I know we would like to think that everyone is virtuous and would want everyone's best intentions in mind. But if we just completely abolished the minimum wage, I think it would be interesting to see the company's reaction because would. I know there would definitely be outlash, uh, excuse me, backlash from a company if, say, they raised or lowered the minimum wage a lot, if um, that would be enough to keep them in check or if it would just, like, that laws are the only thing that would really... Yeah, and so, and it's also how much of it, like, is, like, the, the worker's choice of it all, like, where will the person who is the work, like, the employee, will they continue to choose to work for a business that pays them very little, or will they make a decision to go somewhere else that pays them more and treats them better, so then the business that isn't, um, as, like, isn't treating them well, uh, closes down pretty much, mm -hmm. so th that's, that's something that, um, I, I don't know how exactly that would work, but I think that, Having having some sort of minimum wage or some like having workers' rights is something that is um, is important. And maybe another thing, reason not to or to be at least concerned about raising the minimum wage is companies will like a big chunk of their uh, the cost is the salaries. So if we had to make that go up, the companies would try to make the same amount of money probably and, and reduce the cost of other things. So maybe the the products we'd be buying would be a lot lower quality. And or the service would be worse, or like if we made if we raise minimum wage, we might lose a lot of things like that that we really value, and we don't even notice or we don't think about. So there's another aspect. Yeah. So she said like like one of the women in the beginning said raising the ground floor, um, but then that raises everything else. So she's like breaking down the ceiling, but also raising the ground floor. Um, I don't think we necessarily have to take like like decrease salaries. Um, but I think that that's one thing to consider is like when your minimum wage is getting raised, everything is also getting like every other salary in the company is getting is going up. Like everyone else is getting a raise too. So because of that, um, then it kind of just stays the same and like the inequality just stays the same. So. Yeah, I agree with some. Yeah, I, I definitely would have to agree with those sentiments. I think another aspect is if we raise the minimum wage up to a certain point and the companies are having to spend more money on employees, they might cut back on ethical business choices because I know now a lot of companies outsource to foreign countries that have very unethical business practices. So I wonder if that would make it worse um, or if that wouldn't really have an effect on it. Yeah, and um, like technology too, like how would... Um how would companies, like, if it, it becomes too much of an expense to have employees, I feel like after a certain point, it's more of an incentive for companies to, like, make machines that do yeah. the employees' jobs for them. Um, so that just, like Hadi had said about um, raising it to, like, would, would cut jobs. It would also replace people with things that are ch cheaper, like machines or, uh, like, that, that innovation becomes easier to to replace people. So, Emma, if you could just yeah. pick the wage, minimum wage right now, just pick it, what would it be? California, pick it right now. <laughs> For just me. <laughs> For, For no. Um, I would say, I think we, I believe we raised it to $12. I think that's a pretty solid minimum wage. I think that's how much I'm 
paid an hour. I'm not exactly sure. Um, <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but I think that's a pretty, like, I, I only work weekends and I make a, a, like, you know, a nice amount of money that I think um, what works for me, but also another aspect you have to think about is, like, it's not just high schoolers who have to work minimum wage. There's definitely people I know of who are older or who are trying to support more people. I have the luxury of not having to support myself, but I know there's other people who have to do that. So I think I, I personally, I don't really know the uh, cost of living in California because I've been supported by my family. So I think that um, I, I don't think I have the <laughs> ability to properly <laughs> set a thing, but I think um, at least for me, $12 works, works fine. Yeah, definitely as a teenager, $12 is good, and I feel like, like especially with school and stuff, I'm able to kind of, like, um, choose my own hours and pick how much I want to work, if I want to work more, if I want to work less, but if I was trying to, like, live and, like, pay rent and do everything like that, I think it would be really, really hard for me to do that, especially in California, um, where I know that the, co like, what you pay for a house here is not at all what you pay for a house um, yeah. anywhere else, <laughs> uh, especially in Davis, so... I, I just, I, I worry because I'm like, you couldn't, you couldn't live in San Francisco on a minimum wage job. Like you couldn't, yeah. and I know that like the wages in larger cities are, are different, the minimums they set there. Um, but I know, especially in San Francisco where it's like the cost of living is super high, the cost of commute is super high. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that you could just live there off of minimum, just minimum wage. Um, even though there's a lot of like college students and a lot of high school students there. Um, yeah. yeah, also taxes, they, taking off your check. Like for us as teenagers, it doesn't really matter, but as a, one of my coworkers, she's a mom, and gets paid the same as I do, but she needs to pay rent, bills, and I just don't know how she does it. Just don't bother to ask her, because it's rude, but you know. Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but, <laughs> I agree. But like, yeah. I'm just curious how she does it. Yeah, like how would you? I feel like if if us teenagers get different pay than like someone's a kid, I don't know. I just what I think, you know. I agree with that. Yeah, and like I know people. A lot of people like choose to have more than one job or choose to do different things on the side in order to make money. I know that you have two jobs, and I know that I. Um, kind of do like different things to to make um, money. I know we know a lot of people who do DoorDash recently. Yeah. It's been a big thing recently because <laughs> like once you turn 18 and, and you can do that, like that's a really good way to like make money on the side, especially um, if maybe you're not getting like as many hours as you want to. So that's something that's become pretty popular. I feel like with teenagers um, or once once people are 18 to do that. Yeah, I think it's really interesting the effect of things like Uber and DoorDash will have on minimum wage because I know more and more people who are choosing to do like these uh, jobs that are like reliant on them. Who you don't really have like a traditional job structure that you get to work on your own hours. So I wonder if like if more and more people will start to do that, if that will also uh, cause people to like change their minimum wage. Yeah, well, I know that on those apps and I, I don't know about Uber, but I think on DoorDash you don't have a set minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like however long the drive is or however long the order is to pick up. Like, and people really like to do those, um, and, but they, they don't have a minimum wage and they don't really have like, like there's not really like workers rights just cause you're just driving around yourself and, and like another person or a customer, so. I don't know. I, I, I'm actually interested in seeing how that yeah. impacts it. No. That's a great point to bring up. Yeah. Yeah. I think the more things that are like easy, odd jobs for people to do that are in a certain area where there's also a minimum wage and like low, like typical McDonald's work, that will probably bring up the, 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 uh, the salary of those people just because there's so many other options mm -hmm. and they'll just leave the jobs they don't. So. Yeah. And there's more and more options to like take on multiple jobs. Um, so I think that that will also change a lot. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see in the future how those types of jobs play out and if, if it's going to be even harder because I know more people are having to do more jobs. So I'm wondering how like Uber and Di or DoorDash will affect that in the future. Yeah, yeah. me too. Thank you all for coming in.
Yeah. Tune in next week. Hell yeah. Thank you.